Welcome to our final Zoom Pilates session. Very exciting. Well, I'll be back teaching this in, um, in the flesh in Castle Hill from next week, which is great. I'm just going to double tap myself. We've got a booty band for when we get to our um, glute section. We'll be using that today in two different ways. And we also ideally have a gliding disc. Now, if you don't have a gliding disc, but you're on a tiled floor or a wooden floor, a sock will be all you need. If you're on carpet, it's a little bit more complicated. You'll probably need to take away container lid. Um, that's one of my favorite things to use. Or if someone sent you a postcard, that can work really nicely as well. We're gonna be using this quite a lot today. And it's gonna be with us right from the start. Let's get started. In Studio Pilates, we start lying on the ground, shoulders down, chin tucked in, back of the neck nice and long. And I really want you to focus throughout today's class on keeping your neck nice and soft, the back of the neck really extended, and this little double chin at all times. Relaxing the shoulders down. When you let your pelvis just drop into the floor, it should put you in neutral spine. There's a natural curve under the mid back. But if you don't feel like you're there, you can do a little massage, a little rock backwards and forwards to feel for where that neutral pelvis is, the neutral spine is. We do set a technical neutral pelvis though. Take your thumbs, pop them in your belly button. Take the first two fingers of both hands and pop them on your pubic bone. This diamond works like a spirit level. So we're gonna keep the chin tucked in, the neck long and take a breath in. As you breathe out, curl up from the ribs, look at that diamond across your hips. You need it to be level to the floor. Just like this spiral level, you need to make tiny adjustments until your fingers and your thumb are exactly the same distance from the ground. And once you've got that, the head comes back down. We keep everything below the belly button still now. Rest your hands on the ground. So I talk about the T-zone. That is our basis, the foundation for all core strength. And that consists of your pelvic floor, which is on the vertical line. So you draw that inwards and up, a little bit like you're trying to stop the P halfway through. And then the hip bones, that's your transverse abdominal belt. We want to imagine them dishing across and down. So really knitting in. The other thing we have to focus on in Pilates is keeping the rib cage softening down towards the hips without pushing them down through the floor. Through the, we want to protect that little gap under the waist. So feel your ribs connect down, take a breath into the backs of the ribs. And as we breathe out, start to lift the pelvic floor up as you dish the hips across and down. So we're tightening that T-zone on the exhale. Take a breath in and hold it. And as you breathe out, slowly relax it. No sudden movements. We're gonna take our time and try and move fluidly and smoothly. So take a breath into the backs of the ribs to start off. And as you exhale, slowly and smoothly contracting the T-zone. Pelvic floor rising, hips dishing across and down. Hold that for an inhale. And slowly release it as you exhale. Great. We're gonna check if we're doing a good job. So if your T-zone is switching on correctly, you'll actually get resistance rising into your fingertips. Bring the first two fingers of both hands about an inch inwards of your hips and then press your fingers down. Inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, gradually contracting that T-zone, you should feel the resistance rise into the fingertips. If you're not feeling it, two things might be going on. Not lifting and dishing firmly enough or not poking yourself like you mean it. So make sure you can get that feedback. Hold it for another breath here and slowly release. We're gonna start with bent knee fallout today. Hands come down by the sides. Inhale the T-zone tight, really feel the inner thighs pull into the hips, and as you exhale, the right knee will move over to the right. Try and keep your left, hips, uh, left knee and hip still, and make sure this hip is staying connected via the transverse abdominals. So you want those hip bones tish, dishing across and down. Draw it back in as you inhale and switch to the left as you exhale. I want you to feel like your pelvis is absolutely glued in position. We exhale to move to the side. We inhale to return to the center. So exhale over one way, inhale it back. Exhale the other leg, 
inhale it back. Keep going with that bent knee fallout. I feel like I've lost, oh yeah, we got it. You guys are doing good. Great. One more on the left, and we're gonna switch into a toe slide. But to do that, you're gonna to need to take your gliding disc or your takeaway lid or your <laughs> postcard underneath the right foot. Good. You can in fact keep your heel on the gliding disc for this one. So T's on tight on the inhale, press that heel out as you exhale, draw it back on the breath in and slide it away on the breath out. So we're trying to keep the hip really still, keep the pelvic floor on, exhale it away, inhale to bring it back. We're gonna do two more on the right and then we're gonna switch side. Exhale it away, inhale it back. Exhale it away, inhale it back, good. Let's switch it over. So I've got my heel in the center of the disc, T-zone tight, breathing in, rib to hip connection as I push the leg away, breathing out. Good, press down through the heel to drag it back on your inhale, rib to hip sliding it away on your exhale. Great, keep going with that. I have a really slippery left heel. Right heel does this for me. Left heel always complains about it. Slides off the glider. Uh, really bringing it back towards you. Exhaling it away. So there's no movement elsewhere in the body. It's all just this one leg extending on the exhale and returning on the inhale. That's the last one. You can relax. We'll put that gliding disc over to the side. We're going to move to the other end of the body now for arm prep. So bring the arms up. Make sure your shoulder blades spread down into the mat. So we want to feel a little squeeze down and back into the floor. You should really feel the down and back squeeze as you contract your lower trapezius. T-zone tightens we inhale. Keep the ribs down as you extend the arms back to touch the ground behind you as you exhale. Slowly bringing the arms up as you breathe in. Extending them away again as you breathe out. Keep your pelvic floor lifting. Transverse abdominals dishing across that hip line, the horizontal line of your low belt. Exhaling, extending the arms back. Chin is tucked in, back of the neck is long, and your neck is soft and relaxed. Good. Exhale the arms back. Inhale them up, keeping those ribs contained, keeping the shoulder blades down and back. Last one here. Inhale it up. We'll take the fingertips now to the base of the skull for our abdominal curl series. T-zone tightens as we inhale. Keep the head relaxed into the hands as you curl up over the ribs on your exhale. Slowly control down as you breathe in and curl up over the ribs as you breathe out. So it's a rib to hip contraction that brings you up into this abdominal curl. I want you to be really conscious that your belly isn't popping up. We're trying to corset everything in. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lower. Breathing in through my nose in Pilates, breathing out through pursed lips. It gives you maximum bang for your buck in terms of getting your diaphragmatic contraction. We're gonna switch this now into our obliques crunch. So in our obliques curl, we want the rib to reach over to the opposite hip, but we don't want to close the posture. I'd like you to feel those shoulder blades squeeze down and back as you tuck, tuck your chin in. Take a breath in as you squeeze your T-zone tight and a breath out as we take the right rib over to the left hip. Bring it back down as you inhale and switch sides as you exhale. Good work, guys. Inhale it down, exhale right rib to left hip. Really keeping those shoulders back and down, chin tucked in, back of the neck nice and long. The belly stays in, the hips are really still on the ground. Last two, last one. We're about to come up into a tabletop position. Before we do this, we need to set our spine in a new position as well. So we're currently in neutral pelvis. 
Sometimes when we lift our legs up, it puts our pelvis into the incorrect position to make these work on building our strength. So just bring one leg up, take a breath in, and as you lift the other leg up, I want you to feel your ribs and your hips get closer together. Good. Now notice this gap under the middle of your back. Can you flatten that just a little bit, still keeping your bottom steady on the ground? Our knees are right on top of our hips and our heels are just in line with our knees. They need to stay there. Stay broad through the collarbones, shoulders down and back, and your hands will come down flat onto the ground. This is a single toe tap. T's are tight as we inhale. Take the right tiptoe down as you exhale. I want you to really squeeze into the inner thigh as you lift that leg as you breathe in and switch to the other side. Left toe down, breathe out. Lifting on the inhale. This is our iliacus that we're trying to use. We want to think about the inside of the thigh connecting us into the hip socket. Exhaling to tap, inhaling to rise. Rib to hip connection, nice flat belly. Chin tucked in, keep your neck really relaxed. Now, if this is too easy, you can take your toe further away from your bottom, still keeping the knee bent. If this is too hard, then you can tap your toe in closer to your bottom. Like that. Great. I'm going to do two more of these. So we've got one more on each side, keeping your pelvis really still, keeping your belly really contained. And then we get to squeeze the knees and the toes together. Bringing the hands back to the base of the skull. Inhale, the T-zone tight. Abdominal curls again. Exhale, curling up. Inhale, coming down. Resting the head into the hands. Squeezing the shoulders down and back. Good. Curling up on the exhale. Coming down on the inhale. Now, if you'd like to make this a little bit more challenging, keeping that same softness in the neck and the same down and back squeeze of the shoulders, as you exhale and curl up, you can reach your fingertips towards your feet and then bring them back to control the weight of the head carefully down. Exhale, curl up and extend. Inhale, return, replace. If this is too hard for you, you can continue with the hands supporting the head. And if this gets too much for your tummy, pop your feet back down on the floor. If you feel like your tummy's popping up or that your bottom's moving, Put your feet back down, come back to level one. Last one here, fingertips to the base of the skull. No rest for the wicked guys, we're coming straight into our obliques crunch. So T-zone tight, we inhale, right rib over to the left hip as we exhale. Come back down as we breathe in. Keep those shoulders squeezing down and back as you rotate from side to side. Only the upper body's moving and keeping those hips really steady on the floor. Exhale it over. Inhale, return. Now we can make this one a little more challenging too. Extending the arm across the opposite thigh. Last two. Keep the shoulder down. Last one. Beautiful. Take a rest. Bring the knees into the chest. Give them a squeeze. We're going to go for three circles in one direction. Three circles in the other direction. So we've done a single toe tap. We're now going to work on a heel tap. Slightly different exercise, stronger for the low belly. We're going to bring those feet, so really pull the toes back towards you now. Bring it up into tabletop position, shoulders down, T-zone nice and tight as we breathe in. Take the right heel slowly to the floor as we breathe out. Remember the inner thigh as we rise on the inhale and then switch it over to the left as you exhale. So this is our heel tap. This is not a studio Pilates exercise, this is a physio exercise. Different purpose. Last one on the left, we're now going to come back into our traditional studios Pilates exercises, so it's time to point those toes. This is our bicycle leg. T-zone tight as we breathe in, extend that right leg out long and straight as you breathe out. It doesn't have to be low, let's just get it extended to start with. Slowly bring it back on your inhale and then switch over to the left leg as you exhale. Back to tabletop on the breath in, extending the right leg out as you breathe out. Tabletop on the inhale, switch sides on the exhale. So I want you to really focus on the rib to hip connection here, keeping that belly strong and flat. If you want to challenge, start to take the leg lower. 
If it's too hard, then you can extend that leg higher. Just try and maintain your shape as you extend one leg at a time. Exhale to extend, inhale to return. Last one on the left. Bring the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Go for three circles in one direction. Go for three circles in the other direction. All right, we're gonna do our single leg stretch and then we are going to go into our bicycles again, but with a heel drive instead of a toe drive. So bring it up into your tabletop position. For this one, we're gonna curl up. A curl up doesn't come from your neck. The curl up comes from the fronts of your ribs curling down through the waist into the ground. So I want you to take a breath in, squeeze the T-zone tight, curl the ribs down to sit up as high as you can, take your right knee with both hands, squeeze your shoulders back and down, and if you really pull that knee towards your nose, the crown of the head will go up to the ceiling as well. Take an inhale here, extend the left leg away as you exhale. Now we're gonna inhale to switch sides, exhale to extend the right leg and squeeze on the left knee. Inhale to switch, exhale to squeeze. Good, keep going with that. Keep thinking about the ribs curling down through the waist into the ground, the chin tucked in, soften the neck, crown of the head up to the ceiling, shoulders down and back. So deep neck flexes. How do you stop, you guys keep going. How do you soften the neck when you're curling up and sitting up? You actually have to retract. You have to make more of a double chin to soften these, to soften these little muscles here, your scalenes and get your deep neck flexors working instead. Squeeze on the exhale, switch on the inhale. One more on each side. Coming back into tabletop position, resting the head down, broaden the collarbones, flatten the shoulder blades, down and back into the ground. Flex the feet, squeeze the T-zone as you inhale, extend that right heel out as you exhale. Bring it back to tabletop, breathing in, Left heels turn, breathing out. Returning on the inhale, extending on the exhale. I want you to really focus on that flat belly. Rib to hip connection. Pelvic floor is rising. Navel is descending. Good, keep going. One more on the left to go. Coming back to tabletop position, can we do one more? Point your toes, squeeze the knees and ankles together. This is our double toe tap. Don't worry about reaching the floor, worry about the belly staying flat and your spine staying in this imprinted position. T-zone tightening as we inhale. Slowly lower the toes away from you, keeping the belly flat and the spine imprinted as you exhale. They might not reach the ground, but when you reach your limit, breathe in, bring them back up, shoulders down and back. Exhale, reaching away. Inhale, lifting back up. Really focus on these ribs, knitting in and pressing down. Exhale, toes away. Can I find the floor? Finally, inhale, bring it up. To make this easier, you want to aim the toes nice and close to the bottom. But just make sure you're not arching the back. We've got to keep this rib to hip connection and really focus on this part of the abdomen, pressing down towards the ground. Good, exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, we've got two more. You can do this, guys, you're doing an amazing job. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, last one. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift, bring those knees out wide to the side. Take a little rock, little rock and roll side to side. Amazing job. All right, so we're going to start lifting our head a little bit more here. So remember, shoulders stay down and back, tucking the chin in, softens these muscles, helps us keep the neck relaxed. We're coming into our Pilates 100s preparation. To do this, we need to sweep the arms down towards the hips. So this is the shape of the arm on the exhale and they come back into the start position on the inhale. So this is a circle, a sweep down on the exhale. So as I sweep my arms around, I'm gonna crunch my ribs to my hips and curl up, looking at my thighs. Let's practice this and then we'll add the legs. Exhale, curl up, sweep the hands down. Inhale, return to the mat, arms pointing to the ceiling. 
Exhale, curl up, sweep the hands down. Inhale the head down, the hands to the ceiling. As you exhale and curl up, I want you to extend your toes to the ceiling but keep your bottom pushing through the floor. And then inhale, return carefully to tabletop position. Exhale, curl up, extend the legs. Inhale, roll down, bend the knees. Exhale, curl up, extend and squeeze, hollow out that belly. Inhale, bring it down. Keep that chin tucking in, keep the neck nice and soft. Inhale, return. Exhale, curl up. Keep going. Let me see what a beautiful job you're doing. Really lovely, guys. Careful not to drop your feet too low or needle when you bend the knees. Be really careful they stop in line with them. Really good. Two more. Just two more. Excellent coordination of the arms and the legs today. Last one. Exhale, curl up, extend. Inhale, come down, hug the knees. Beautiful. All right, so after our Pilates one, uh, 100s preparation, we're going to do our 100s today. In our Pilates 100s, we're going to hold a shape. It could be level 1 shape. It could be level 2 shape. It could be level 3 shape. And you're going to inhale for 5 pulses of the arms, exhale for 5 pulses of the arms, keeping the neck relaxed and the shoulders down and back. We get to 100 pulses of the arms. If you need a break, rest your head on the ground, but don't put your feet on the ground. This is our big challenge for the sequence, the peak of our abdominal sequence. So we want to hang in there as much as possible throughout that training challenge. Let's start together. Tabletop position, belly nice and flat, spine imprinted, shoulders down and back, hands on the outer edges of the thighs, T-zone tightens as you inhale, curl the chin in, rib to hip, reach to fingertips as we exhale. Let's squeeze those shoulders back as we breathe in and take our first five pulses as we breathe out. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Curl that chin in more, crown of the head to the ceiling, belly flatter. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Can you lift that T-zone anymore? Can you extend your legs to level two? Now, this might be enough for you, but if you're feeling great and you want to work a bit harder, you can flex, turn the toes out, keep the heels and the knees glued together as you inhale for five pulses and exhale for five pulses. Breathing in, two, three, four, five. Breathing out, two, three, four, five. You keep going, breathing, squeezing and pulsing. Looking good, Tash. Try and reach through your ankle all the way to the tiptoe. Point a little bit harder. Squeeze the fronts of the thighs. Looking good, Anita. Flex those feet. Turn out as hard as you can. Rib to hip connection. It's time to imagine now that your belly is a canoe. You are trying to hold as many passengers in it as possible. So hollow belly, flat back. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. You are in this for 10 more seconds, guys. Hang in there. Let's count it down together. We're here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All done. Hug the knees into the chest. You can choose if you like to do the tight squeeze with the circles or if you like to rock widen side to side, whichever feels best for you. Okie dokie, we're going to do our frog. Oh. Sorry, nutcracker. It's called the nutcracker. We've been working on this in previous weeks. You got last week off because you had Rowena, but well, I'm going to go straight to level two today, which is with the legs extended. You don't have to extend your legs to level two in Nutcracker. You can keep your toes connected and your knees turning out. Your fingertips start at the base of the skull and at the top of the movement, both hands reach through the legs. It can be really lovely if you have the time to butterfly your thumbs together as you extend. Come on down. We start in a tabletop position, the fingertips at the base of the skull. We inhale the T-zone tight, as we exhale, we curl up, reach the arms through as we extend the legs. Bring the toes together and then the knees together as the head comes down. So it's exhale, curl up and extend. Inhale, replace and return. Good. 
Keep going with the movement. Exhale, curling up and extending. Nice. And it's really good practice to really squeeze the thighs, but this one, it's really hard to keep the belly strong and the bottom down. So don't go too wide. The wider you extend the legs, the less the belly is likely to remain in control of the movement. So don't go so wide. Exhale, curl up. You've got three more. Nice. Keeping that bottom down, shoulders back and down as you extend the arms, guys. Last two. Beautiful work. Last one. Fabulous. Good stuff. Job done. Reach those arms and legs out long and straight. Take a nice big stretch. We're going to put our band on now and we're going to start with the band above the knees. This is for our pelvic curl series. One thing I need you to promise me today, team, is that we don't allow that band to bring our knees to touch. We need to give resistance out to the band to keep our knees in line with our hips. All right, so we've now moved our feet so they're closer to our bottom for our pelvic curl series. Oh, my mistake. We've got our legs extended because we need to do our glute prep. <laughs> Just relaxing into the floor with your legs extended. Squeeze your T-zone as you inhale. I'd like you to squeeze your bottom as hard as you can as you exhale. Hold that contraction as you breathe in and relax it as you breathe out. So T-zone tight only on the inhale. Bum squeezing as you exhale. Hold it all as you breathe in. And slowly relax it all as you breathe out. That's plenty. Bring those heels in close to your bottom. All right, so we don't have the knees touching. We're pressing out into the sides of our band, but they're no wider than our hips. Shoulders roll back and down into the ground, and the chin tucks in as the back of the neck extends. T-zone tight as we inhale. Tuck the tailbone under and peel one vertebrae at a time away from the ground with your exhale. When you reach the top of the movement, the ribs are in. We don't get excited here. We keep the bottom scooping under, straight line through the hips to the knees. Take a breath in, squeeze the T-zone again, and use that breath out to start at the ribs and vertebrae by vertebrae, roll back down until your bottom touches the ground. You can take a little rest as you breathe in. Then T-zone tight as you tuck and peel away as you breathe out. Inhale at the top and exhale, slowly return to the mat, keeping the shoulders down and back the whole time. You've got to really scoop the pelvis under in order to get those vertebrae behind the belly button. So we scoop, tuck and peel all the way through to the top. Take a breath in, really squeeze into the bottom and slowly back down as you breathe out. Rolling through as we inhale, we're going to add on now, coming all the way to the top as we exhale. Inhale the T-zone tight. As you exhale, lift your big toes and press out into the band. Keep your bottom high. Inhale, flatten the feet back down, but keep the arches lifted so it's just the big toes coming back down. Exhale, pressing out into the band, squeezing your bottom. Inhale, flattening the big toes back into the floor. Exhale, open. Inhale, return. This is called your openings. Really squeeze both shoulder blades back and down into the ground. We counter that by connecting the rib cage in and then down. Exhale to open. Inhale to return. Exhale to open. Inhale to return. We've got two more here. Take a breath in. And one vertebrae at a time, slowly roll down, keeping the shoulders back and down as you roll towards the ground. We're going to take the band off, but we're not done with our pelvic curl series. We're going to bring our gliding disc back. And we're going to place it underneath our heel. All right. So one foot at a time, we're just going to do the right leg first, shoulder blades are down and back, ribs tucking in, hands pressing into the floor about 30 centimetres away from your bottom. 
T-zone tight, we inhale, tuck that tailbone under, so your heels, your knees and your hips are on train tracks, two straight lines. Take a breath in at the top. As you exhale, push that right leg away, don't let your bottom drop. Good, inhale, bring it back. Exhale, reach it away, keep this rib to hip connection. Bring it back, send it out. So this is your third, we've got three more to go. Keep that bottom high. Use your hands if you need to, but keep your ribs tucking in. Last two. Last one. Exhale it out. Inhale, bring it back. And then one vertebrae at a time, rolling down into the mat. We're going to switch feet. So the heel is going to rest. The left heel is going to come to rest in the center of the glider. Make sure the ball of the foot is on the floor. Heels are close to the bottom, we're on our, true, the, on our two Pilates train tracks. Shoulders roll back and down, pelvic floor is rising, transverse abdominals engage. Take a breath in and curl up as you breathe out. Squeeze the T-zone tight, tuck that tailbone under on your inhale. Send the left heel away as you exhale. Draw it back strong as you breathe in. Send it away as you breathe out. So our glutes are holding us up here, but now we're also training our hamstring. Adding a little hammy curl in here. Drawing it back on your inhale, extending it on the exhale. You got two more. Keeping the hips high. Great, take a breath in at the top and one vertebrae at a time, come on down with your breath out. We can send that gliding disc away again. This time we're gonna place the band on once again, but we're gonna place it underneath the knees. So, we're gonna include some holds. We're gonna do our clam one, we're gonna do our clam two, but I'm adding on a little bit of a challenge for our last session which will mean that we're going to have some holds in there as well. So I want your knees stacked. Your top knee is just a centimetre in front of your bottom knee. Your top hip, so we're in clam three position, which means we took our tabletop and we popped it on our side. Our feet, our heels are in line with our kneecaps and our knees are out in line with our hips. This arm becomes your pillow and you need to scoop the side of the waist up off the ground. It's really important. Scoop the side of the waist up off the floor. Your top hand can rest in front of your ribs on the ground or it can rest on your top hip. Just make sure that top hip is gently rolling forward. We mustn't allow it to roll back. We're going to keep the heels really squeezing in towards each other, chin tucked in. Head back in line with the bottom. So be careful your bottom isn't rounding under. Stick that booty out. T-zone tight, we inhale. Press the knee into the band. Keep squeezing into your feet as you exhale. Close the knee together as we breathe in. Open it up as we breathe out. Now I can feel my top hip is sliding back a little. And if you feel that, all you need to do is move your bottom further away. Stick your bottom out a little further. Exhale, squeeze open. Inhale, lower down. We're going to do two more, and then we've got a 10 second hold. Great, so we're going to take it into that position. Exhale it open, keep breathing. Teeth are in tight, we're here for 10. Top shoulder rolling back and down. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale the knees together. We're now going to come into clam three kick out, which is lifting the heel with the knee. Inhale it down, exhale, squeeze and lift. Good. Three, four, we're gonna do three more. Keeping the side waist off the floor, rib to hip connection, T-zone tight, then bring it up and hold. Keep breathing, keep squeezing, make sure that the knee and the foot are facing straight ahead and you're pressing up into that band as firmly as you can for another five, four, three, two, one. Bring the feet and the knees together. Let's take a little rest. If you need to tap out your top hip, just make a fist with your top hand and give it a tap. Let's see if we can keep our pelvis stable here as we come into our um, sideline leg raise. 
So inhale the T-zone tight. Exhale as you open the legs. Extend that leg as you breathe in and turn the toe towards the ground as you breathe out. We're going to inhale, hover the toe just off the floor and exhale, press up into the band. Inhale to hover, exhale to press up. Keep your bottom reaching back, guys. Inhale to hover, exhale to press up. So flex the foot, pull the toes towards your nose and down to the ground. We've got another five of these and a 10 second hold at the top. Five. Four, three, good work guys, two to go, two, holding that heel high at the top, holding here for ten, nine, eight, you got this, keep pressing up for five, keep your hip forward, your tailbone back for three, two, one, beautiful job, relax it down, tap it out, and let's switch sides. Turning over, turning the page. I'm going to shift back as far as I can. All right, so the side of the waist is up off the mat, the chin is in, so we can keep the neck relaxed. The bottom is sticking out, and the feet are flexed, the heels are out in line with the knees. So this is up, this is back. Hand can either be here, shoulder down and back, or here, shoulder down and back. T zone tight, breathe in. Squeeze into the heels as you open the knee, breathe out. That's come a little low for me. I'm going to pick it up a bit higher. Close the knees on your inhale. Squeeze it open on your exhale. And remember, if you feel like your top hip is sliding back, just stick your bottom out and keep that knee forward. Knee and hip forward. Keep going. Keep squeezing into the feet. We're nearly there. On the next one's our hold. T-zone tightly inhale. Press the knee open into that band as you exhale. Staying here for 10 seconds. Really feel your tailbone lengthen away. The ribs in, the side waist lifting, pushing up into that band for another five, four, three, two, one. Keep the belly working here, guys. Keep that spine long and straight. Clam kick out. T-zone tightly breathe in. Press the leg up, keeping it really knee and heel travel together. Close on the inhale, open on the exhale. So the knee and the heel travel together. Don't let the band pull the knee towards the floor. You need to keep that headlight on, straight ahead. Four, we've got three more than the hold. Exhale, open. Inhale, lower. Two. Let's go, up we go, hold it here, keep pressing into that band, keep the belly flat, the tailbone back for another six, five, four, three, shoulder away, two, one, bring it down, a little tap, quick rest for our last exercise. Which I'm not sure how I'm gonna do in this space. <laughs> I'm gonna have to shuffle up. Okie dokie. So we're in our clan three position. We inhale the T-zone tight, we exhale to open the leg. Inhale to extend it, exhale to turn the toe down. Hover off the floor on the breath in, tailbone back, and lift the heel as you breathe out. Hover on the inhale, lift on the exhale. Hover on the inhale, lift on the exhale. I feel like when I headbutt my walls and everything. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. You're doing so good, we're nearly there, team. We just have four more to go than a 10 second hold. Up on the exhale, down on the inhale. Three, two, here it is. Up and hold for 10, tailbone tucked. I mean, sorry, tailbone back, belly tucked, sideways lifted. We're here for five, four, three, I'm shaking, two, one, and job is done. Tap that out, wow. Those banded clams sure look after you, don't they? Make sure you're working nice and hard. We can take that off now. Thank goodness. All right, let's do a little bit of postural work before we get into our final glute and plank series, which will kind of mesh together today. So lower trapezius activation. A lot of people 
Well, we're working in this position all the time, right? So to get our shoulders to come back, to improve our posture, to reduce neck pain, to reduce headaches, we need to get the muscles down here working a lot harder to bring all of this tension down, cool? So our focus in our postural section today is really where you feel the tips of your shoulder blades at the bottom and on the inside. You wanna feel those squeezing towards each other on your back and really relaxed and long through the neck. Cool, so we're gonna come down onto our tummy. We're gonna set our trapezius in all three positions today. So three different ways to get those activating. Your forehead should be resting on the ground here with the back of the neck long. But for some people that simply isn't comfortable. If you're one of them, it's okay to pop your head up on a cushion or a pillow. But we do need the back of the neck long and the chin drawing inwards. Scoop your tailbone under now. Lift the belly button up into the back to lengthen through the low back. So we're not relaxed here, we're long. The elbows are out in a stop sign position, like we're pretending to be a cactus. And we want our wrists to be in line with our elbows. Cool. Once you're here, this might be challenging to do keeping your elbows still on the floor. You might just need to change your position a little bit. I find further back is more helpful. T-zone tightening, belly button lifting as we inhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades down and back into that V-shape. So imagining that we're knitting together down here through the shoulder blades. Inhale, relax it. Exhale, contract it. You should feel your shoulders move back all the way from the collarbones. Inhale, relax. Exhale, squeezing back. Keep that tailbone tucked under. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, relax. Nice, we're gonna extend the arms now and keep working on this. So you've got to set the shoulders into position first. A little bit of down roll. T-zone tight, we inhale and then squeeze those shoulders back into a V as you exhale. Relax as you breathe in, squeeze down and back as you breathe out. Relax on the inhale, squeeze on the exhale. You must not bend your elbows here. Try and get the V shape, the bottoms of the shoulder blades to knit together. Squeezing down and back on the exhale, relaxing on the inhale. This is the most challenging version. Last one. All right, bringing the hands down by the sides now and then 30 centimeters away from your body. Before we begin this one, well, I want you to see the difference when my shoulders squeeze down and back. Have a look at me to see what my shoulders do when they draw down and back. Where does the head of my arm bone move when it's engaged versus relaxed? Let's try this together, team. Tailbone tucked, T-zone tight, breathing in, squeezing those shoulders down and back as we breathe out. Inhale, relax. Really focus on the down and back on the exhale. The palms are relaxing into the ground. The elbows are straight. Exhale, contract. This is our easiest version, remember? Inhale, relax. Chin is tucking in, forehead is on the ground. Beautiful. Keep those shoulders back and down as you lift the hands on your inhale. Bend the elbows, come back into your cactus position as you exhale. Now it's really important that we keep these elbows on the ground as we start to add our spinal extension. Tailbone is scooping under, belly button is lifted up into the spine. T-zone tight, we inhale. Shoulders roll back as we lift the head and exhale. The chin is pulling in, the back of the neck is long, the gaze stays straight down towards the ground. Inhale, slowly return to the forehead to the mat, and exhale, shoulders pull back as the back of the head rises. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, rise. Tailbone is tucking under, collarbones are broad, the shoulder blades draw down the spine. Good 
주모 Amazing. So we're going to slide the arms forward now. We're going to practice our freestyle arms first with the head down and then with the head lifted. T zone tight as we inhale. We're going to go inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. So alternating the pulse of the arms, squeezing the shoulders back and down. Inhale two, three, four, five. Five, exhale, two, three, four, five. Keep going, nice and long through the arms there. Let me check on you. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Great. So now, if we're going to pick the head up, we need to draw those shoulders back and down, engage the T-zone, press the pubic bone through the floor as we inhale, and lift the head and neck with the gaze straight down at the ground as we exhale. Now let's inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Really pulling those shoulders down and back, long straight arms, tailbone pressing down. I just want you to do a few more as I check your extension, your chin drawing in. The back of the neck long. So your head is lifting, but we're lifting with that chin drawing in and the neck lengthening. Really good. Three, two, one. Place your head, hands under your forehead to rest. We're going to really push the elbows through the floor to lift the ribs up. And that's just to stretch out that upper back that's been working so hard for you. Let's start focusing on the legs now. I want you to start by tucking your tailbone under and squeezing your bottom. So we're nice and long through the low back, lifting the belly button up into the spine. And I want you to squeeze your thighs now, reach through the ankles, nice pointy toes. Teaser are tight, we inhale. And we exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Five. These are tiny little fluttering legs. The pubic bone is pressing down and it's just the big toe touching the ground. As we inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Keep going with that. I'm just checking in to see your beautiful long legs and pointy toes. Try not to let your legs bend. Keep your hips down. It doesn't have to lift high. I want you to feel like someone's pulling on your toes. So like someone's pulling on your legs more than lifting them up, pulling them away from you. Good. Take your last exhale here, relax and take a breath in. I think we're ready to put those two together. It's called freestyle. So we've had freestyle legs, we've learned freestyle arms. Let's do the whole dang thing. Extending those arms out long and straight. We'll do version one with the head on the floor and then we'll do version two with the head lifted. Tailbone tucking under, squeeze those glutes. Lift the belly button up into the back as the pubic bone presses down. Arms are long and straight, legs are long and engaged. We're gonna do opposite arm to leg. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, so make sure we're reaching through that diagonal. The finger and the toe reach through a diagonal line away from each other. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, rest. Whew, whew. All right, we're gonna roll the shoulders back and down. Engage that T-zone really strong as we breathe in. Lift the head up with the gaze down as we breathe out. Take an inhale to prepare. Let's go. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Really squeezing those shoulders back and down as we swim here. You keep going, breathing in for five, breathing out for five. I'm going to check in on you. Yes, guys, really reaching long through the hands and the feet. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And then push back into child's pose. Nice. Really resting the hips into the heels. If your arms are still extended, tuck your chin a little bit more towards your chest and then bring your hands behind you to your feet. Mm -hmm. 
Start to slowly roll up through the spine. It's time for our last exercise. We're going to need that gliding disc again, which is exciting. No? <laughs> I think it is. So I'm going to just grab my other arm to help me out. Four point kneeling. So let's get those shoulders really nice and broad and then roll them back. It's really important. I want you to look at what happens when I'm sagging. I can move back a little bit, I think. Hang on a sec. Don't flip over, that's me. Okay. So sagging in the shoulders looks like this. No good. Over protracting through the shoulders looks like this. No good. We want to be halfway in between, yeah? Nice and flat through the upper back, long and lifted through the neck. Deep neck flexes, really working hard to draw that chin in so the back of the neck can lengthen. We're going to take the toes into the center of the gliding disc or takeaway lid or post curve. <laughs> nice and long through the whole spine, belly lifting and hugging up into the back body. Clawing with the fingertips, shoulders squeezing back, back, back. T-zone tight, we inhale and hover the knee. Exhale as you extend that leg back, keeping the belly strong. Inhale to bring it back. Exhale to extend it away. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze your bottom, keep traveling in line with your hip. Exhale, press away, keep the head lifting, chin tucking in. Rip to hip connection on the front body. Tighten the belt around the hips. Exhale, extend. Inhale, return. Four more. Last three. Last two. Last one. Bring it back. Switch sides. So I just pass that over to my right toes. I reset my plank position. T-zone tight. I inhale, hover the knee. Exhale, extend it back. Careful not to arch through that low back, team. You've got to keep the hips square, keep the pelvis steady. Bring it bit in as you inhale, slide it away as you exhale. If you want to make this harder, try and get that leg completely straight. If you want to make this easier, you make that slide smaller like this. So the further you extend the leg, the harder it gets. Five to go. Keep the head lifting, chin tucked in. Three, two, one. Job done. Take a little break. Roll out the wrists. We're going to do a plank on our forearms to finish today, but we are going to use the gliding disc with our feet as a little challenge. We're going to try and pass the gliding disc from foot to foot without having Shakira hips. Cool, so Shakira can stay at her own workplace today. We're gonna to try and have a steady bum. You can dance to some Shakira once class is finished. Changing my prop for my forearm plank. This is also completely doable on your knees, but it's really important when we're planking on our forearms, even if you're kneeling, that your bum is down and you bring your weight forward. Cool, so no bums in the air like you just don't care. You gotta bring that booty down. So if your knees are on the ground, this is your shape. Your chin is tucked in, you're long and you're straight. We're not lifted through the boot. All right, so I've got my foot on the right gliding disc, on the right. So I'm in my plank position. I'm just gonna kick it to the left, the left toe finds it. I take it to the side, I bring it back. My right foot finds it. I take it to the side, pass it over, foot down. Take it to the side, pass it over, foot down. Side, pass, replace. Side, pass, replace. Kicking the skirting boards. You guys keep going. Try and hold that plank nice and long and straight. Really good, tight around the hips, shoulders down and back. Flat through the upper back, not over curled, not sagging. Chin is tucking in, neck is nice and long. Doing a great job, you're here for 10 more seconds. Come on, just 10 more seconds. Seven, 
Yes, Anita, bum down a little lower. Doing beautiful Tash. Three, two, one. Relax. All done, guys. Let's take a quick stretch. How good when you finish? How good? <laughs> Starting up on your uh, knees. We're going to bring the right leg forward, tuck the tailbone under, your right hand is on your right knee, left arm comes up into the air. Squeeze your left butt cheek to lift this hip higher towards your armpit. Drop this shoulder down, roll it back. Inhale, get as tall as you can and exhale, start to tip to your right. Come back to the center, curl your right toes towards your nose. Before we fold, just take the toe in and out a few times. Good. So I want you to sweep the belly in, keep the hips stacked just on top of the knee and try and move forward with a flat back. If you can't reach the ground, just take, hopefully you've got something to support you, like a block or a chair or something. You can also take one hand onto your thigh and stay here. Just keep curling the toes towards the nose. If you can reach the ground, please feel free. Just keep those shoulders rolling back. Feel the crown of the head and your tailbone lengthen away from each other as you breathe in. And see if you can fold over the hip crease a little deeper as you breathe out. And we're just here for three, two, one. Coming up. We're going to slide this heel back next to the knee now. Sit down on our bum. Take your hands behind you. I would like it if your fingers either face your bottom or to the sides. Not so great for your wrists if you face all your shoulders, if you face your fingers away. Cool, roll those shoulders back, pull the ribs in, and then squeeze your bottom to lift your hip. Don't drop your head back, not good for your neck. <laughs> Keep your chin tucked in and the back of the neck nice and long, ribs curling into your hips. Great, then we're gonna sit back down, bring this foot back, come on up, other side, left foot comes forward into the lunge. Turn the right hip in. Pull the pubic bone up to tuck the tailbone under. Left hand on the left knee, right arm up by your ear. Take a breath in as we lift this hip, squeezing the bottom, keeping the ribs down. Get as tall as you can and then start to tip to the left, making sure that left shoulder is rolling down and back. Opening up that whole sideline in front of the hip. Bringing the arms up, hands to the hips, flex the left foot, send the heel away. Good, arch the back, little in and out of the toe, you can let the hip move, totally fine. Just trying to prevent any neural tension here when you fold forward. Take the toes towards the nose, breathe in, start to tip forward, find where you're comfortable, where you're supported, shoulders back, chest up, long spine, inhale and then fold over the hip crease as you exhale. Coming up, bring that foot back next to your other knee. <sighs> Quad stretch, hands behind you. I'm gonna squeeze the bottom to lift the knee, making sure the shoulders are back, the chin is in, and the ribs are contained. Both hands on the ground if you can. Three, two, one, sitting back down. Now, rather than bringing this foot back, we're gonna bring our hands forward and step through. Creating this C curl in our spine, we're gonna press the heels down, release the neck, nod the head, let everything be set free. Now, I know we're in a curled spine here, but still be conscious that your shoulders are extending away from your ears and spreading wide across the back. Now we're starting to tuck the tailbone under. We're going to curl up real slow. Vertebrae by vertebrae will stack the spine, but keeping the shoulders away from the ears as we come up one vertebrae at a time. And once we're at the top, you can give those shoulders a roll back and down. You are all done. I didn't have time to give you a glute stretch. So now that you're standing, if you've got time, it's a great idea to take one.